Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today, December 22nd, it's about 10.30 in the morning. It is a brisk 32 degrees in Hollis, New York. Southwesterly winds at about 12 miles an hour puts it at about, I don't know, about 31 degrees or so. I'm glad to be out here on the skull wing. I've been down for about a week. Had some accessories put on, as you guys know. And uh, I'm out here. Salted streets be damned. I'm going to get a little ride in. And uh, today's video, I'd like to talk to you about the five tips that I use personally to make me feel safer while I motor vlog while riding in city, in the city. So uh, let's drop this helmet and get this motor vlog going. Hopefully these tips can uh, refresh your memory, uh, possibly help you in some way. I know they help me. Let's go. It really is amazing how many different tasks us motorcyclists deal with on a normal traffic patrol commute. And doing it successfully means processing a multitude of items at once and reacting correctly to each of these items. Now, riding and motor vlogging in traffic comes with its own unique and additional set of challenges. And I will be the first to admit that maybe motor vlogging isn't the safest way to get one's message across. However, I do believe that it can be made safer by following these five tips that I live by and ride by. The first of which is running interference. I let the larger vehicles run interference for me when I negotiate intersections. This way, if that aggressive motorist coming towards me from the left or the right is going to blow past the light, better they hit that large truck or that box van than they hit me. And for the same reasons, I don't lunge through intersections as soon as the light turns green. My second is scanning constantly. I constantly scan the entire environment. I keep my head on a swivel. I look repeatedly at my mirrors, the road ahead. I look for potential blind spots to my left or to my right. It is critical that I and you stay aware and be in touch of your current situation as it is changing all the time. Do this and you'll be able to react. My third is studying the surface. I add actual conditions to my scans. I'm always on the lookout for spilled oil, anti-fuse fuel. I mean, this stuff shows up really shiny on pavement. Now, I also keep an eye out on gravel and sand, especially this time of year, because that's a little bit more difficult to see. I also urge you to use your sense of smell when you're out here. Often you could spell spilled diesel fuel long before you see it. My fourth is, I like to ride in open zones. I constantly use my bike's power to maneuver and to ride in open zones in traffic. In any grouping of vehicles, you're, you're always bound to see an open zone or a gap. You could just jump in there and bury your speed. Now my last tip could have easily been my first. You gotta watch the driver's heads and mirrors. I mean, watching the head movements through the mirrors or windows is an excellent way to anticipate sudden moves. Most drivers don't lunge left or right without first moving their heads one way or, or another, even if they don't check their mirrors. Well guys, those are my top five tips for safer motor vlogging. And they would be running interference, scanning constantly, studying the surface, riding in the open zones, and watching the driver heads and mirrors. I'm interested in learning. What are some of yours? What do you do to keep yourself safe out here? Well, thanks for coming along for the ride. I'm on my way to Cycle Gear. And uh, I'd like to pick up an adapter for my windshield mount. I just picked up a GoPro Hero 8. So uh, I'll try to get you guys some footage. I'll cut you on the flip side. Okay, 
guys, I wanted to get you guys a quick look at my bike and a few of the things I've done to it. Uh, I have uh, added some gold wing accessories, the OEM fog lights as you can see, some nav lights on uh, the fork, various amounts of chrome trim. I've also added a full bezel. That's the stereo upgrade. I've added some lighting to the rear as well. Some chrome LED filler panel lights. And a tail trunk light. Also some chrome saddlebag LED indicating lights. And there is even the pump the chrome. This is what I'm running with. Give you a quick peek and hopefully get you guys a real review of all of these accessories that I've added. It's beautiful. Volvo. GoPro, stop recording. Manual, I just picked up this up yesterday and I'm pretty excited about adding this. I would have liked to get the adapter and put it right here. You know, and, and position it forward and rearward and, and get some really nice video. But uh, I guess I'll have to order that online. So let's put this uh, GoPro Hero 8 Black in the trunk. Grab my heated gloves and get on the road. Okay, so pulling away from cycle gear here. And uh, I guess you can I guess you could say I, I, I struck out... <laughs> on getting uh, an adapter for the GoPro legs to attach to my windshield mount. Uh, no worries, that, that's what we have online shopping for. So I guess I'll go home and uh, jump online and, and order something. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I'll do.